Hey guys, it's John again. I'm playing Brent Musburger, and let's go d4, d5. This is an opponent I've had before. We'll play a Slav or semi-Slav. Let's see what's going down. Okay, he takes on d5. Again, another game with an early capture on d5 in this queen c2 business. Uh, I'll play g6, just like I did in the other game. So this time I can actually develop the bishop to g7 if I want. I might want to take that opportunity. Well, let's go bishop e7 all the same. I think I am supposed to play bishop e7 there. Okay, and he's going to open the center. Okay, I'll just take it. Yeah, he takes on f6. Check. So I'm pretty sure this is a line. Do I play... I'll go here. Hmm. Just debating whether I want to try to get the queens off, but that would have made more sense to play this on the previous move. So I'll just do this. Um, I'll play my knight out to, to d7 in order to go to b6. Oh, by the way, I said I was going to play a three-minute game, uh, but uh, I got a five-minute game before I got a three-minute game, so I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> don't know why you would mind, but... Just thought I'd let you know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I can play bishop f5 with tempo, but he goes queen f4. That's a slightly annoying post for his queen. Um, is that a big deal, though? I can play a5 and try to kick his bishop. It would be very natural to play bishop f5. But I fear he might go g4 after that. And his knight is coming to e5, too. Maybe queen d6 is a good move. Queen d6, knight e5, though. Knight e5 is always a struggle. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to do this. And I was thinking queen b8 might be a good move. Or just rook e8. Because rook e8 all that bad. Rook e8 would be a desirable move, I think. Queen b8 too, though. Queen b8, knight e5. Let's say rook e8 then. g4, though. That that g4 move keeps coming back to bite me. Hmm. Sorry I'm taking so long on this decision. I'm like apologizing to my opponent. This is just a, a crucial moment. Rook e8. Alright, I'm gonna go queen b8. I don't know about this move. But um it sort of feels like I have to play it. G4 is really concerning. So concerning that I'm going to play h5 and hope that there's no tactics on f7 that I'm missing. Like, if he takes with the bishop, I can take on e5 is what I'm banking on. He can take with the rook then. But I take here. He can take on f5. Maybe it's some sort of weird perpetual after that. I probably can't escape the perpetual check if he goes for it. Let's see if I know who this guy is. I think this guy's anonymous. Yeah, anonymous I am. I don't feel right about playing this move, but um, you know, it's it's it might be a necessary evil to secure my bishop. And if he goes like h3, I could play h4 if I wanted. Oh, and he goes for this. Okay. So against this, I kind of have to play bishop takes. Yep, and he does that. Now, knight d7 also comes to mind to attack his rook. But I would assume if that happens, he has good compensation. So let's just go down this critical line. Check. 
Check. We'll probably run this way. Anything else looks kind of crazy, doesn't it? Yeah, I think anything else would be bad. I mean, the question is, can he win this? Needless to say, like playing for a win is very risky here. Rookie one and 94 would be the way to go if he does. Like with 94, I can maybe get my knight to d5 to control some key squares, especially f6. So yeah, I wouldn't mind that happening. My queen can cover d6 for now. If rookie one probably, I mean, rookie eight would be the, the natural follow-up. Maybe queen d6 is also good. Probably is. So I, I think he'll take the perp. I think he'll just go with the perpetual. I, I don't think I can run to the... No, I'm not going to run to the queen side. If I go to the E file, he checks me and no. <laughs> he's coordinating. So he's probably going to think a while and I'm guessing take the draw. I wouldn't mind so much if he goes for the win. I think it would be interesting. Definitely wouldn't mind. I see some traps actually. Like let's say he goes rookie one and I play queen Check. D6. Okay, well, I'll just play this fast. Let's say he checks me king g7 and then rook e1, queen d6. If he plays rook e6 there, then I can take and move my rook over to e8, Check. I think. Draw. Yeah, and he Check. offers a draw. Okay. Yeah, it probably is a draw at the end. Let's just check with the computer. It's showing dead equality. This is the critical position. H5. Well, I think he is better here, so if bishop takes f7 is the best he has, then... You know... I, I don't know. I, it probably isn't the best he has, I guess is what I'm saying. Engine says knight e4. Apply pressure to my bishops. Yeah. I'm not happy about giving up either bishop. I want to keep them both to keep my king safe. But it doesn't look possible. h5 was a little too much, I think. c5, an undermining move. It's an interesting suggestion. So if takes, then I have knight d7. Well, let, first of all, let's just check to see if there was anything that we could do differently. Knight d7 might be pushing it. Yeah, he has some crazy tactic that wins, <laughs> or gives him a clearly better position. Check. Yeah, there'd be some punishment if I got fancy with knight d7. Take, knight takes, bishop takes f5, king's totally exposed. Easy compensation for white. He's not even down any material. So, yep, this was good. I thought maybe he would play rook e1 here before taking the bishop. That's a less committal way to play this. Because once he takes on f5, he's in for a full rook. Whereas this, like, maybe he takes on f5, maybe he goes to e7. Leaves me guessing more. I see queen d8 as a proposed defense. Yeah, this is... It's complicated. I guess black has sufficient resources. Check. Check. Yeah, and this would not be advisable. Check. <laughs> Made in 15, apparently. So, I don't want to let his rook come in with check. I think I'm fine in any case, though. Like, if rook e1... Well, I was thinking queen d6. Which I guess is also good. He can still check. bail out with a perpetual, huh? Ooh, maybe not. Rook e5. And I'm busted? Okay. Well, I, was, I, I saw this idea. If he tried to come into e6, I could do this and then come over with my rook. And because of the back rank threat, I win. He has to give up his queen for a rook to avoid mate. So that was just a clever trap. But I guess, you know, if this were a longer game, maybe he would have tried rook e1, having calculated some stuff. 
Rook H6. I did I did look at that for a second. Point is, if this, I can come back to h8, and surprisingly, he doesn't have any way to hurt me immediately. That's scary, though, when you see, like, knight e4, and he's only down by this much, despite having invested a rook and only got a couple pawns. That means that black is by no means out of the woods. That's what that means. So I wouldn't even <laughs> pay attention to this until I stabilize the position. So you can go here, huh? And after this, come in with the Check. rook, king f8, take, take, and he still has a perpetual. Check. Okay. And the other move is knight e4. Knight e4 seems a lot weaker, though. Knight e4, I can play rook h6 again. Knight d5, only draws. Yeah, rook h6 would be a good move, wouldn't it? Because that covers d6 better, and also it allows me to block on... Uh, g6 if he moves queen g5. I'm just going to go back a little bit. This is very similar to a game I played just a couple games ago in the three-minute pool. You know, I've seen this line before. I just Check. can't really remember what to do. Maybe queen e7 is the best move, is the computer saying. I thought king f8 was the move, but I could, I could easily be wrong. This is something I probably should know. King f8 is... Giving him some initiative. Because I, I need a couple moves. I got the bishop pair in a better structure, but he has he has the attack. Maybe I should have played h5 now, according to the engine. I'm just not comfortable with this position overall. If I could get my queen to d6 and then play bishop f5, I feel a little bit better about that. So maybe, maybe I should have done that after all. I was worried he would play knight e5, though. Guess I can try to defend. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. This is my second game against Brett Musburger. I think I, I won the first one. Don't remember too much about it, but, um, you know, tough opponent. So hope you guys have a good day, and please leave me any feedback in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys.